I'm Connor. And I'm Adam. Welcome to the world according to Connor and Adam. Today we're back in Adam's car. It, it's a little dirtier than the last time. But hey. I was out turkey. He was turkey hunting. How how turkey hunting go, Adam? Well, first day. You see then Caitlin. She missed one. But I guess it is what it is. Please, and then yesterday we didn't have any school, so went out bow hunting for a turkey. It got one in the 50 yards, couldn't shoot at it, because it, went, it just hung up at 50. Then, later that day, at around 10 or so, we had another one. Another one, at, uh, we were trying to get up closer to it. Popped over the hill, and it was at like 40 yards. It's still a little too far to shoot with the bow, be completely accurate, so I just, I was like, we'll set up down here, maybe we'll get them to come closer. And then, I guess we just waited, probably like 20 minutes, nothing. So then we popped, then we were gonna get up closer, see if we could get closer to them. Maybe they're coming up over the hill. Maybe get a shot off with my bow. Just kinda. Yeah. Yeah. That's not that good. And that night, didn't see much. Heard a couple on a neighbor property. Hmm. Yeah. This weekend didn't do crap. Just drove around. Burned a lot of gas. I got that Ford Ranger. 500 bucks. Oh yeah, I cleaned her up. Vacuumed her out. Got insurance on her yesterday. Didn't drive her today because I have a track meet. I don't really want to drive home from track tonight, but the rest of the year I'll probably drive to school. I guess I had, uh, on Easter I went went down to see the family, I guess. Really didn't want to. It was my birthday. But I guess I did it anyways. Came back. Went fishing a little bit with Marcus out at his pond. Uh -huh. One of his ponds that he can fish. Then went out and roasted some turkeys. You guys catch anything? Uh, yeah, we caught probably ten or so decent bass. Yeah, I was thinking about going down to the Kendrick's Pond and going a little fishing down there, but uh, I decided no, I'm just going to stay home. Just did a lot of stuff. Drove around Edgewood. You see me. We talked to each other when yeah. you guys went to the car wash after going down the level B. I was thinking about taking that truck that I was in down level D, but it was a little too nice to do that. Yeah, we were over in Man It wasn't level B, I don't think. It was over in Manchester. There's a level B over there. George said he hit, you guys just hit the level B. I don't know, but it about ruined freaking Marcus's axle, I tell you what. Yes. I'll snap that baby. <laughs> yeah, a level B will do that. You guys should have went to the level B over by my house. The Rainbow Road one. Good thing we didn't take this one. The ruts in that sucker were so bad, this thing would have bottomed out. Yeah. <laughs> this thing isn't as once pristine we, as she once was. But we watched this car go down, and we're like, how did they make it down then? I don't know. Some people. If just, they would have hit a rut, they would have been bottomed out. I've, I've watched somebody go down the level B by my house, and they just stayed right on top of the ruts. Like straight, like there was like a mound like this and a mound like that, and then rut, rut, and they stayed right on top of it, and they drove all the way through, didn't get stuck. Then I drove down there with the ranger, didn't get stuck either. But um, but by my house, it has a little like waterway thing that you cannot see the ruts, and you, I just went down there car was like this. I was like, oh god. They were like, you got a winch? I was like, yeah. I was. Like, they are like, can you pull us out? I was like, no. And they are like, why? I was like, cause. That, that car. You got freaking I don't know. It was like five or six people in it. And it was a pretty heavy car. I was like, I ain't gonna be able to pull that. I got, I'm in my Ranger. And they are like, but it's, it'll be fine. I was like, no. 
it won't I'm not getting buried with you so I just turned her around and drove right back up the way I came and then I was like well you can you got somebody that lives around here and they're like yeah we live around here we live about like a little bit away I was like okay when you can get in the truck and I'll drive you there you got a tractor they're like yeah I was like okay you're gonna have to get your tractor and pull it out and then I ended up watching them rip the front bumper off and I was like oh my god but that was a while back. That was last year during this during summer. But yeah, I didn't do anything very entertaining. Just got bored, drove around. I went home, made s'mores, then drove drove around more. Then I ended up at next to you guys. Yeah, yesterday I sat out in the out in the blind for four hours. So a couple of turkey vultures. Oh. <laughs> Did you have fun sitting out there? No, my back started to hurt. Did you have a comfy chair? No. No, no I didn't. Oh. Wow. I had one of them ones that you just fold out like it goes out like this. And then oh. you got a little seat right there. No backrest, no nothing. Oh I it I would hate that. Sucks. I would straight up hate, I hate that. I was thinking about leaving once two hours came up because my phone was almost dead. Did your phone end up dying? Yeah, it died. What, in the, like, halfway through the second hour? No. Good thing, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to call my dad and have him come out and give me another tire. Yeah. <laughs> when I blew this one. Yeah, Adam popped a tire the other day. Yesterday. Yesterday night. Uh huh. Yeah, not real impressed with him. He should be a better. He should do better. Hey, that was not my fault. Something gouged straight through it. And then I got. I think it happened on this side of town. And then I got all the way through town over. Over probably a mile from Greeley. Then. Side blew out. It was getting too low. What'd your dad say when you called him? Oh, he was pissed. <laughs> oh, was he yelling at you? Oh, yes, he was. He's like, why, were you out this late and everything like that? And I was like, I was turkey hunting. And he's like, no excuse, you're buying the next one. And I'm like, aw, oh, man. <laughs> yeah, now you have to buy the next one. Yeah. But no, you next time. 77 bucks. The next time. Out of my pocket. Next time you uh, end up popping a tire, just wreck the whole front end. And then be like, I think it's only bad around here, Dad. You need to fix this. Yeah, I wrecked the whole front end, like my other car. Yeah. <laughs> Thing was a beaut. You could have. I should have kept that car. I regret it. You you know what? You could have made more money off the cats on that yeah, car than I sold it Than I sold it for. But, yeah, that was Adam's mistake. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, but I was not enthused to wake up this morning. Yeah. I was not either, really. I was so tired, I was like, oh my god, I want to go back to sleep. But I could wake up early now, after waking up at 4 o'clock for the last weekend, since Friday. Oh no, bro, Friday, Saturday, I would stay Sunday, up till like 2 in the morning, and then I would go to bed around like, I would get up around like, I don't know, like, the one morning I woke up at 8. Went to Gutenberg, and then went at 11, went back home, and then from like 12 to 5, I took a nap. And then I went outside and cleaned up cars. Yeah. I was thinking about going golfing yesterday, but then I was like, it'll be fine. I ain't going golfing. You guys have a golf meet today? Yeah, we got one today and I think Thursday, Thursday, Friday. Dang. Thursday, I think. Yeah, I was growing some burgers last night. You guys got a drag meet tonight, don't you? Yeah, we do. Do you have any more the rest of the week? Yep, Thursday. You know, I go off to Saturday. Oh my God, I don't even want to tell you my score. What was your score, Adam? Uh, we ain't talking about it. Oh, <laughs> that bad? Yeah. I uh, couldn't hit a driver all day, lost so many gosh dang golf balls. I'm, I'm guessing around 
Uh, high 50s, no. to low 60s. No, 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 no. Higher? 18 holes. Oh. Uh, around 70. No. No. Way higher. Way higher. A hundred? Is it in the hundreds? At another twenty. Hundred and twenty? Yeah, hundred and twenty six. That was awful. What's par for I uh, lost twelve balls. What, what you, <laughs> you lost one basically every single hole. No, I lost three and one hole or three and two holes. So the gosh dang pond and crick. And lost one down hole fours road. Two of them hit the tree, and every time it hit the tree, it went out in the road. One bounced all the way up the road. <laughs> Lily Bariski found it. Yeah, I bet she did. <laughs> yeah, she found my good uh, Pro B1. Yeah, Adam over here trying to hit dingers, but that ain't working too well. You know, the only time I can hit a golf ball is with this cheap ones. Start buying a bunch of cheap ones. Yeah, I know. I started using a, uh, I don't even know what it was. I think it was a percent. And I had that one for about five holes. Oh, dang. Didn't lose it. What, Whenever what? I had a good Nike or a Pro V1 into the water or wherever it went. Yeah. That'll happen. Yeah. I don't even know if I have that last... I don't know if I used that last Pro V1 I had or not. It's probably gone. It's probably somewhere. I don't know. I had three of them. Lost two for sure. I don't know if I hit the other one. I don't know. I might not hit that other one. I don't know, yo. It's oh, yeah. Somewhere. I definitely did because I took them both out. Put them in the little carrier thing underneath that. Yep. She gone. Yep. All right. Well, I'm Connor. And I'm Adam. And this has been The World According to Connor and Adam.